Hey guys, it's like 7 a.m. here in San Francisco, and I just woke up. <gasps> I think I woke up this early because I freaking, you know, it's probably like 10 o'clock on the East Coast. I forget what time it is over there. San Francisco International Airport. And then I have to find my way to China Airlines. And then I have to ship off to Taiwan. And then from Taiwan, finally to Japan. But not even where I need to be in Japan. Mm -mm. No, I had to make life hard and go a whole prefecture over. Not even in my prefecture. I'm supposed to be in Shimane and I'm landing in Hiroshima. Now that's not too bad because Hiroshima is right south of Shimane. However, I'm so tired. However, I am arriving like two days late. Two days after the final date that they wanted me there at my university. So, Yay me, pulling a London tin tin. For those of you who don't know, I am studying abroad at Shimane University this year. Uh, it is my first time in Japan, so I'm extremely excited, and I will probably cry as soon as I land on Japanese soil. Y'all, I am sitting in a hotel, not in Japan, in Taiwan! Oh my hair ratchet, what? What the heck? So here's the story. My plane my plane got delayed. And because of that, I had well, I had a 23 minute, 23 minute, 30 minute layover from that plane to a plane to Hiroshima um, that I was gonna take tonight. However, the plane that I had to take here to Taiwan got delayed and I missed my Hiroshima flight so the freaking China Airlines bought me a hotel and a cab and they were like, oh, stay the night in Taiwan and I'm just like, well, why the heck not? Because who wants to stay in Taiwan and then be, and then the, the plane ride to Hiroshima tomorrow is the same time as it was supposed to be for uh, today, which means I'm gonna arrive in where I, Shimane, where I need to be late at night. Not, I dropped my glass. Not in the morning as I had planned. And I have class starting in two days. And I'm gonna be there, not moved in, until the first day. And I don't know what to do. And I'm freaking out. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! How could this happen? Oh my gosh! Why do these things happen to me? Why? So now I'm in Taiwan. Don't speak a lick of Chinese, Mandarin, Cantonese, no traditional, no simplified, no, not even Taiwanese, okay? I can probably get by with the little Japanese kanji that I know. But I did meet some two nice people, you know, that also had the same issue. And we all took a cab together, and we're all staying in the same hotel together, because the freaking everyone screwed up together. And now we all be best buddies, and one's a pot smoker, and one's just going to, you know, surf, because we're hanged, and, you know, surf is, is life, whatever. Um, what is on the television right now? That's Frank, right there in the red, and the guy in the mustache. I don't know, he looks like a Zhao. That's probably racist, I don't know. The point is, y'all, I'm not happy. This is crazy. I thought I was gonna be in Hiroshima in like an hour, but I'm not, so... And this hotel smells. Whatever you do, don't come to Orchard Hotel in Taiwan, okay? It's, it's awful. It's so awful. And let me tell you about our taxi driver. Oh my gosh. This guy was amazing. And when I say amazing, I don't mean like he was talented at driving. I mean he was talented at breaking the law because he wrote, 
blew every stop sign, every red light. We almost got T-boned because he came into an intersection as it's turning red. This guy's coming along. He's like, oh, oh, oh. he had like this creepy laugh. Oh, 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 oh. And I was just like, I can't deal with this right now. Okay, so that was insane. You know, in Taiwan, they're, you know, they have signs and they have street lights and they have traffic laws um you know all of which no one adheres to um, so that was one striking difference between taiwan and america but it's you know it's probably not as bad as i'm making it out to be um it is exciting being in out of the country for once in another foreign country it is at the same time, my adrenaline's run, you know, rushing, so it, it feels fun, but at the same time it feels scary and, you know, I'm anxious and nervous. And I really just wanted to be on a plane right now to Hiroshima, Japan. I'm just angry that I'm not in Japan right now. I'm just angry that my flight got delayed and I won't be at my school, my university in Japan until the very, 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 very last minute, which I don't want to do because that doesn't look good. It's gonna work out, I know. Um, if you pray, pray. I need it. <laughs> Please and thank you.